It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up a sass. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When, what to my wandering eyes should appear, miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment that it must be Sidney. More rapid than eagles his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. No dasher, no dancer, no prancer, no fixin, or comet, or cupid, or donner and blitzer. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, and dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricanes fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house top, the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in the twinkle I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my hand and was turned around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opened a pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up and bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke in it circled his head like a rat. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full jelly. He was chubby and plump and a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eyes and a twist of his head, soon he gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to work. I filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, he gave me a nod of the chimney heroes. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team give a whistle, and away they all flew like down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.